Tomorrow morning we actually leave. <laughs> Tomorrow morning we actually leave on the plane to uh, Florida. It's taking us all day to get ready, and so I'm just eating pizza. How's packing going? Um, I think I'm done. Was it stressful? A little. Why? Um, because I don't make decisions well. Mm. How many suitcases? Two. How many bags? Two. Okay. A stroller? Like, two carry-ons, two suitcases, and a stroller. She's two to see. Plenty of probably, snacks. Yeah, I probably could have made it into one suitcase, but we have some extras in one suitcase, and then the other suitcase it's mostly full of like snacks and diapers, some wipes. Oh, Sissy, she's biting me. I gotta go feed her. Bye. These are the boxes of all the snacks that we're bringing. Because we're gonna be down at the happiest place on earth for 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. Uh, 11 nights. So just applesauce, Lara bars, uh, collagen bars, crystal light with caffeine in it. I think there is. I don't know, 60 milligrams of caffeine. It's not as much as I usually take every day, but it'll, it'll help me stay away from the uh, Joffreys and Starbucks. Suitcase, suitcase, duffel bag, backpack, um, stroller in the car. Oh, we need to get the we need to get the bag for um, the stroller, right? Is that downstairs or in the room? I think it's downstairs with the other bags. Okay. All right, everybody, it's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed! Are you ready to go to bed? Well, let's go to bed. No! <laughs> Whoa, it's time to go to bed? Wake up early in the morning? No. <laughs> Head to St. Louis. We already got a reservation for the parking spot. It was cheaper that way. I got nothing else to say. Well, it's telling me something. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Hmm? <laughs> Do, you <know? laughs> Do you know where we're going today? Airport. Airport, that's right. Can we ride choo choo train? I think we ride a little choo choo train when we get to Florida. Take your time. <laughs> what do you like about the airport? Taking this. Oh, your bag? What's in your bag? Guys, his name is Woody, Buzz, Jesse, and my map. That's cool, man. And nothing in my bag. Just stuff. Just stuff. Okay, yeah. cool. Hey, Mommy, what are you excited about? Not having this angle on me. <laughs> mm. We're going to change his clothes like this. We have an hour and a half until <laughs> we have an hour and a half until we have to leave. <laughs> Feels like forever. We woke up too early. Quiet. We actually woke up two hours early, which doesn't happen. Usually it's like an hour before and we're going crazy trying to get everything situated. And baby had to be woke up. She still has to be woken up, but we're gonna wait till the last possible minute. So hopefully she can sleep on the way up there. So it's weird not rushing. Hey baby, you love. You ready to go? Well, I was just walking around crying, and we don't know why. It's just crying. Little Yula just cries if there's a reason. That's right, you cry if there's a reason. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right here. Right here. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Wild's corner. Mommy's corner. All right, Bubba, are you excited? The outlet's right here. Block with money. Have that, if we have that, if we have nothing else, that's okay. Uh, I, yeah! What do you 
excited for, Bubba? Look at the time. They're actually making good time. 9.29. We're going to leave at 9.30. It's going to be a good day. I want to see him. Don't tell Daddy we stole his camera. Yeah. Daddy had to go potty, so we are stopping at a McDonald's. Sissy just had some milk, and Bubby is a little upset that he doesn't get to come up here and sit but we are in a hurry aren't we bubba i'm sorry i just want to go to the airport well, we are gonna go to the airport next but you said we, we we're still not at the airport yet it's taking us a long time We made it to the airport safely. The people are watching. It's hot. It took a long time to get here. Security took a long time, but we're here. It is 1.24. I ate something two hours ago, but wasn't very hungry. No, I ate something two hours ago. So two hours ago, I ate something. One hour ago, Laura had McDonald's, but I wasn't really hungry. I was like, no, I'm good to go. Now that we're here at the airport and everything costs $10, I'm starving. I want a big, fat, juicy burger. Well, there are donuts. I want a donut. She was looking at me smiling while I was videotaping. Now she's pretending like she never looked. Okay, love you. Hey, Wells, you think anything? Anything on your mind? I don't know how I'm helping not you. Well, we have to wait a little bit. We are at the very last terminal on the entire airport. Yeah, hey, I want donuts, so I want no. It took a long time just to get here. Now we're about an hour and a half early. We haven't drunk here. How does it feel breastfeeding in the airport? Are you nervous or shy? Or are you just used to it by now? How you feeling, mommy? I'm feeling good. Took us like took us lobby forever. <laughs> forever. I think it's a new plan. Sure does. From Orlando and Central Florida. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. Terminal B, level one. No lines. Last time we were here, we were, the line started about at that wall, and it still took 45 minutes to get in. But tonight, there's maybe 20 people, including workers, in this whole lobby. So Baby nice. Joanna Bombs and Dragon Joe.
first attempt. Not so much. We're gonna try again. Go for it. Wait, hold on. Did you turn it? Yeah. I just opened it right up. like, oh, this thing, this, this guy. We just have to get over it, right? I'm feeling twice as good as I did when we walked in here. So we got here to the resort. We got here to the resort and we were starving. So we didn't film any of that stuff, but we do have food. We're at the All-Star Movie Resort in the Fantasia building. We are right behind the ballerina and to the side is a scary, um, uh, what's it called? Jack in the box. It's really scary, so we're trying to shield Wild's eyes as much as possible. Good thing it's about eight o'clock at night, and he's not going to see any of that stuff. So we are super hungry. We got generic cafeteria food. So All Star Resort has food that is just bare minimum edible food. This bacon cheddar cheeseburger was like fifteen dollars. This uh, I don't know what this is. Spinach. Spinach artichoke Alfredo was ten dollars, but it came with a breadstick, which is mostly Daddy. eaten, and lettuce. Hey, Daddy, what? What? It's called noodles. If you want to go to a resort that has really good food, or at least the there's always like a base food, and then there's different. The All Star movies, music, and sports are all the bottom tier. Daddy, what do you want, son? How did you like the food? Um, I haven't tried the burger yet or the salad, but the breadstick and the um, Alfredo. I mean, I'm starving, so. Night you know, starving! Ask me when I'm not starving. We're starving. We did the Disney Magical Express, which we did before when we stayed at Coronado Island. <laughs> Coronado Island? Coronado Springs. I didn't seem that long. On our bus, it was Coronado Springs, um, All Star, Sports, Music, and then we were the last stop. We will probably only end up going there again if we absolutely have to but we'll try to plan to eat other places on the resort. And, and we're actually expecting a Walmart grocery delivery here tomorrow at like 11 o'clock, because we're gonna try to sleep in a little bit just so we're not crabby. So a tip is, so you're not bound only solely by Disney food, Walmart actually on their grocery delivery app will send you food to the front lobby, like the, the carport, the pull-in and you just meet them and take it back to your to room. If, you, if your room is far enough away from the lobby, you can um, ask a bellhop to use a golf cart and get you to where you, your room is, but it's and usually it's customary to tip them a couple dollars. It's, it's customary to tip them a couple dollars. Go. We, um, we're the Magical Express here, and what they do is instead of you happening to go pick up your luggage from Luggage Claim and um, bring it with you, you can just have them pick it up for you, and you just go straight to your room, and you don't have to worry about lugging your luggage around and doing everything else, which is awesome, except for whenever that it's close to bedtime. <laughs> which is awesome, except which is awesome, except for when it's almost bedtime and you don't have. Take five. <laughs> Which is awesome, except for when it's almost bedtime and it takes, um, what they say, three to five hours. What's that? What? Hi. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Can I over there? I think. Quick tour time. This is the front door, and immediately to your right, you have a little table, dinette maybe. Two chairs, and right there, that those that little handle, those handles pull down for Murphy bed. We may use that, may not. I don't know. Over to the left, we have coffee corner, something. Over here is the TV. It's probably like a 60 inch, maybe. The little chest of drawer. There is the bed. Our pack and play. This is the bathroom. You have your little closet here. I can't think of a, 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 a dang thing. Hangers, extra pillow, a hair dryer with the iron, some extra toilet paper, Kleenex, a little beauty mirror. I will use this every morning. Or some shelving, some towels, some towels, tissue, face soap. And here you have the shower, 
pot, some more towels. We are actually gonna be here for 10 days. This is our, this is our house for 10 days. Is that weird? 